Okay. Um, what is Arts Corps? Arts Corps is an after-school arts education program, and we bring teaching artists to after-school facilities in facilities all over the city of Seattle. No, we don't. We don't. We only. <laughs> 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 I'm going to start over again. I'm going to start over again. Um, okay. I don't remember how Arts Corps came to me specifically, but I do remember meeting with Lauren Atkinson and talking about how teaching artists were sort of this underground movement of people who were operating under the radar and had very little respect. <laughs> um, and we're trying to piece our lives together in all sorts of educational settings. And then getting a phone call from Lisa about her ideas for Arts Corps. Let's see, the first time I met Lisa was in an Arts Corps meeting. And uh, we were having a discussion about um, inner feelings. And uh, Lisa was expressing herself in such a way that she made a, a gesture uh, and also a statement about she could feel something right here. And when she said that, uh, I don't think she really realized she actually projected feeling into me. And I said, wow, this lady has a lot of power that she's able to actually focus outside of herself to uh, have an impact on others. I am 100% sure that the work is the most important thing I and you and all of us can be doing right now. And I am 100% sure that we are attracting the right people to do it. I mean, I just know it. I feel it all the time. Lisa's value that will live on through Arts Court's future is her passion for the work, her passion to do it right. Her staff has grown immeasurably under her leadership and will continue to grow because they have that same passion for the work and for one another. I've never seen such a strong team in a nonprofit. She started something pretty miraculous, and now we're a national model. And I'm proud. I'm proud of what we've started and all the possibilities for where it will go. I would dis describe Lisa as deep, dynamic, spiritual. Powerful, beautiful. And I think that our, you know, our place, our, our, uh, our role is to absolutely model fearlessness in the world. If that's the highest thing that we do in our lives, it's to lose all of our fear. You stand up.